And then the next card we have going down is in, just as equally exciting for this card. It's mm-hmm. Francis Ngannou versus JDS Junior Dos Santos. This is gonna be oh my god! This is a great. It's gonna be a great card. It's yes. gotta. Be, it's gonna be a great card. We're gonna start off with Damian Maya versus Rocco Martin, okay. and what should be a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu matchup. Um, so we looked up this guy Rocco Martin yes. a little bit, and he seems like a BJJ guy, right? Yes, he's he does. a black belt. A lot of his wins come through submission, although the statistics show two percent submissions. Uh, I think that's just UFC, maybe, and uh, we saw a bunch of submissions on his uh, MMA record. And those might have been some amateur fights, but regardless, if you have that background, you know how to submit. Uh, yeah, I think he's essentially a BJJ guy facing one of the biggest BJJ demons of all time, Damian Maya. Very highly regarded. And I um, think this is one of those where the UFC is giving Damian Maya, if you can't beat this guy, you should probably think about hanging the gloves up, at right. least in this promotion, yeah. message. Yeah. Because I think so. I, because in my mind, like this is just fr- this is fresh meat. Because Maya's lost three in a, lost three in a row, and then he won against, uh, and then he won his last fight against yeah. um, Lehman Good. Lehman, yeah, yeah, Lehman Good. And the fights that he lost beforehand were all guys that are uh, champions at some point had a strap around their right. waist. Interim champion Colby Covington, who was never defeated to lose his interim champion. And think about it, kind of Tyron bad. Woodley. Before that, and then bad matchups for at him the, too. Ba- at the at the back end of those Kamaru Usman, beast wrestlers, just beast wrestlers. So every single one of pressure, them, pressure top down, yeah. grind you out. Yeah. You can't submit yeah. me. I'm just gonna yeah. keep knocking you. I mean, against Rocco Mar- Martin, this is gonna be a completely different situation. This is a BJJ versus BJJ. Can the old man beat the young buck? And if you, I mean, at that point, if you can't, I think they're trying to send a message like, right. if you can't beat this guy, I, I don't have anything for you, you know? I have no doubts in this fight, though, and I'm going to go first and say I got Damian Maya with yeah. definitely, like, convincing fashion, probably submits him within those, is it, that's three rounds, right? Mm-hmm. Within those three rounds, he submits him. I think the old dog has a lot more tricks than the young pup. I, I agree. I think, like he said, he's only lost... To, he's only really lost to top competitors. Top competitors, heavy wrestlers. And, and everyone else, he's beat pretty handily, mm-hmm. done what he wants. And having someone that doesn't have that much UFC experience Correct. come in here will get schooled. I believe so, so as to well. Speak. I, I don't agree. know if he'll get submitted, but... What do you have him in? Um, I'll say... Nah, I say he's gonna knock him out probably second round. Mm. That's that's a bold prediction. A a knockout for Damian Maya. To be JJ guys too, I but hey, it. you know sometimes that's what happens. That's what no, sometimes. You never know. Um, you, you never know if Rocco could force the stand up because of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Correct. To be sometimes he cancels gets, each other out, and they're so like, "Oh, now we're boxers to, all of a sudden." To bang. You know, we got a bang. And <laughs> I'm gonna go with Damian Maya first round submission. You can pick whatever. Okay, submission well, you first want. round they'll be like, he's gonna he's gonna mess this kid up. Yeah. This kid's gonna get murked. Like mm-hmm. it's gonna be a mistake, yeah. and because Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is about mistakes yeah. just as much as stand up yeah. is. Yeah. And I, you're a vet. Like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is not like oh I need power and speed. It's all technique. Mm-hmm. It's all chess. It's chess, man. Yeah, that's a, ch- a different type of chess. Yes. And I kinetic think- body leverage. Like if you know how to manipulate that. Yeah, it's and just Damien Maz just been through the ringer in the UFC and in the BJJ community, so. I think he's just got too much experience. Damien Maia hasn't had a first round submission in forever, but I want to see it. So I'm, nice. wish, I'm, I'm speaking into First round submissions are beautiful. They are. That's technique and skill, poetically. It is. The other fight, eh? The next fight we have for you guys is Francis Ngannou versus Junior Sigano. Dos Santos. Mm-hmm. The Predator is looking to uh, continue another a little bit of a win uh, streak for him. He's going to build another one up, I should say. He just defeated Curtis Blades, I believe. Yes. Yes. And then um, now he's facing up against Junior Dos Santos, who's won a couple fights. Now, it's interesting to see when you look at the past uh, victories for each of these individuals. If you look at their who they've, who they've beaten to get to this point. But before we dig into that, who do you guys think is going to have an upper hand in what should be a great boxing matchup between these two? Um, I think that Francis has shown that he's grown after every fight. He's made adjustments. He's been critical. He's mature with how he's handled 
his entrance into the UFC because a lot of people know how untechnical or skilled he was, maybe, and he was just had a lot of raw talent. And this is going to be a really good fight. I I think that Francis will set the pace. Whatever he decides to do will mm-hmm. dictate how the rest of the fight goes. Yeah. A little correction for myself also. I said Curtis Blades was the last fight. He actually just knocked out uh, yeah, Cade okay, well, obviously. Yeah, I knew yeah, something yeah. was we awry about when I said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, that Controversial win. That was my bad. But, I mean, he blew his knee out, but yeah, it was yeah. off of a nasty uppercut Upper, type, uppercut, type of yeah, hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just hurt him. So, uh, and things happen in this sport, right? Um, that might have been the last of Cain Velasquez, the way we've seen him I before, believe you know? so, my friend. Uh, but back to this fight... Um, you know, Ngannou will be taking on a great game game competitor in Junior Dos Santos who's looking to get climb the mountaintop again. Yeah. So this is going to be very interesting, especially with DC hinting at uh, retirement after this Stipe Miocic fight. If he beats Stipe Miocic, now you just have a vacant belt. So who fights for that? The winner of this fight is going to have a claim. I, I think so. So it'll be... <laughs> It'll be damn interesting because now you're looking at this without Stipe in the mix because yeah. he just lost. He can't right. just go and fight for the inter- right. the, the fight for the vacant. I hope Stipe wins. Because it will be a passing of the garden yeah, away. For that sense. But, um, but even if it does vacate, um, now you've got an interesting situation where the winner of this fight, in Vingano and Dos Santos, who, who's going to step up? Because now you're looking at the rest of the... You're, well, Stipe, well, he just lost. Right. And then you're looking at the loser of this fight to fight again for the, this time for the strap. I, it just doesn't make any sense. No. So this opens the door up for another another heavyweight to step in, which is very interesting. It's no surprise to me that Derek Lewis is kind of taking his time trying to get up to speed. You never know. I don't know if he's got the discipline necessarily to get to where he wants to. Maybe he gets motivated now and he does. But um, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I, I love Derek Lewis. So. That division is gonna be is in for a shakeup after DC makes his decision. Oh. So that with that with that Cain Velasquez knockout, you go you see Curtis Blades, like another guy who had a little bit some 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 good talent. The Stipe Miocic and Derek Lewis losses back to back. He lost a lot of confidence in that Stipe Miocic fight, and then it translated over to that Derek Lewis fight, and then he learned his lesson. And he's just looked again his combined time for his last two fights against a former champion in Kurt Kane Velasquez and Curtis Blades, who was ascending despite him uh Nganu facing him uh in 2015 and beating him then as well. You gotta take a look at where Nganu must be at mentally. And I and I'm really excited to see where that's gonna be coming at against someone like JDS. Again, a boxing match because JDS got great hands. That's yeah, both were boxers. Oh no doubt man, about that. this is gonna be amazing. Should be amazing. I um, I got. Should I say who I got? Because yeah, it's like pretty it. clear for me. Like that, Ingano's gonna win this. I think uh, JDS. I mean, I thought his chin was very compromised before. Thank you. Uh, he kind of showed a little bit of chin in his last couple fights, but. He also hasn't been punched by anyone like Francis Ngannou. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I don't think... I Honestly, the way I see it, it's going to be a quick knockout, man. It's going to come out. It's a boxing... Uh, it's going to be a boxing match. And it's going to get starched. If I see the last times, the last few times that JDS did lose, um, Cain Velasquez, he lost. That was a grind on the ground. Okay, that's fine. Cain Velasquez again, TKO with a slam and a punch. Okay, well, that's... But, an, that's and that's those one, fights are... They stole uh, his soul, right? Uh, uh, that's a way to lose right there. Okay, how about... Also, he I faces Steve Amy Ochich, 2014. Yeah. And he wins. Right. So he goes and faces Alistair Overeem and gets knocked out. And and then he goes and he uh, he faces Steve Amy Ochich again and gets taken out with TKO. And then he uh, and then his last few fights, he's on a three-fight winning streak. Blagoy Ivanov, Tai Tuivasa, Derek Lewis. These guys aren't guys to write home about saying these are big household names. Right. Yet he's at ranked at number three. That's right. And he's facing Nganu. And Nganu is, has right. some of the best power in the game. Alistair Overeem got sent into a different dimension. He sent JDS into a different dimension. He did. So I think the fact that Sigano is getting up there in age... The first thing to leave you is speed. Mm-hmm. You're going to lose that speed in your chin. I see a young, hungry gorilla. Oh, and he's absolutely. hungry. And he wants to eat your soul. Yeah, wait, wait, His name is Francis Ngannou. <laughs> and he's going to knock you out in round number one. 
within the first 30 seconds. Unfortunately, lately That's we my prediction. see more and more fights that retire far- fighters lately. 30-second knockout, JDS is done. And I think I'm very much on the, in the same boat as you. And I think uh, this is going to be what, like... I don't know if it's going to be the last fight for JDS, obviously. Probably not. But I think that's going to be the High one that, that starts bringing him down yeah. on the downward slope. I think it could possibly be very much be his last fight. If he could loses... Be. It is his last fight. If he Especially wins. gets murked. Like, I mean, what he has um, one or two fights What case left. do you have for the belt after that, right? Well, he's like, 35. Yeah. And he'd have to, again, go on that one of those three fight winning yeah. streaks. Yeah. And do you want to do that again? That's going to well, take another look, two years. Or another year, well, that's yeah. why he's he went on a little winning streak, fought for the belt, lost. Went on a little winning streak, fought for the belt, lost. He's on a little winning streak. If he gets over the hump this well, time. Well, he's won the championship before. Yeah. He beat Cade Velasquez but one he time. He always loses out. it afterwards. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. then he goes on a winning streak again. It's true. And if he gets over the hump and he wins, then he'll fight more, maybe one or two. But I think if he gets the belt, then maybe he'll when he loses, mm-hmm. that's when he'll retire. If he's gonna do that. I don't see him getting the belt, man. Yeah, I ever again. I don't agree. Yeah. I mean I agree. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 this is going to be a 30 second knockout. It's going to be, I think so as it's well. It's going to be some, 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 some lunch. If, yeah, Francis I don't think brings he's that faced, pace and goes Because Francis, like that. one thing that people don't understand is because of how thick he is, they don't understand how long his arms are. Exactly. The reach advantage, it, I'm going to look it up right now 83 to 77. There you inches. go. Inches. Are you kidding me? And they're about the same. They're exactly the same height. But he's yeah. just longer right. and stronger and younger and hungry and, Dude, I think this is going to be a Francis Ngannou knockout in the... Fr- in, like, no just, doubt. Ah, oh, it's going to be vicious. No doubt. Guys, put your money on. on Literally. Ngannou. Average fight time for Ngannou, including a couple boring ass in, uh, decisions. Look at that. 635. Sure. Yeah. This is first round, man. So what do you want? Are we unanimous first round knockout? So. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> I don't know what to Sorry, say. JDS. You, the Actually, only I was person you could talk about like this before is like Mike Tyson. Right. That's true. That's true. Well, what do you guys got? Uh, well, you got a unanimous yeah. first round knockout. I was like, jeez, man. And don't forget when JDS was coming out, he was that not the same statu- status of, uh, you know, being such a killer like Ngannou, but he was also a knockout artist. It's true. But, uh, and I'm a, I used to be a huge fan and still am, but. Um, That's hey, the man. only thing he has for him is that he's been doing this for a long time. And the only reason I would say not a first round knockout is if. He can finesse keep it. running. Keep yeah, he like, can. He can figure out a way to stay. Every single minute that this fight goes forward, it goes more and more to Junior Dos Santos's favor. Yeah. That I agree with. That's yeah. what he's going to try and do. That but I agree. I with. think Francis is just—he's younger, he's fresher. He's, you're gonna run around as a, you know, you're gonna. I, I think he's just gonna fight. pretty much replicate the Alistair Overeem kind of fight where he's gonna JDS is gonna step in there, face Ngano, and just right off one of the first couple engagements they have. On the feet, he's gonna just first feel one of those dictate. punches and he's gonna go to sleep. He's gonna be like, Oh, okay, I didn't expect that. You know, there's power, that power. and then there's Francis and Ganu power. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll see what happens there. Hopefully, you guys uh, tune in for that one. It's gonna be a good one.